Hi, hello and welcome back to F1 Challenge VB. My name is Mephisto and our journey through the history of Formula 1 continues today with the ninth and final round of the 1953 season, the Italian Grand Prix. It was held on the 13th of September, it had 30 entries, they all took part in the race but there were 14 retirements. The race consisted of 80 laps completed in 2 hours, 49 minutes and 45 seconds. Ascari started the race from pole with Fangio in 2nd, Farina 3rd, Marimon 4th and Villoresi 5th. The race was won by Juan Manuel Fangio, Farina came in a close 2nd just 1.4 seconds later, Villoresi finished in 3rd 1 lap down, Hawthorne came home in 4th 1 lap down as well, and Trintignant finished the race in 5th, he was also 1 lap behind the leader. On lap 49, the fastest time of the race was posted, it was a 2 minute 4.5 second lap, and it was done by Juan Manuel Fangio. Monza is where the final race of the season takes place, and the lap starts off with a very long run down into turn 1, a high speed right hander. Be mindful of your speed however, as it's very easy to go wide and hit the fence or the straw bales. Next is Roja, a pretty dangerous left hand kink that goes up a small hill. Use too much speed here and it could be your last race. Next are the Lesmos, two medium speed right handers. Again, pay attention to your speed as it's quite easy to go wide and hit one of the bales. This is followed by Seraglio, a fast left hand kink, then comes Via Leone, a fast left hander. You take this at full speed but watch yourself as you could go wide on the exit. Finally we have the last two corners, break hard for the first one, then a quick burst of power into the second one which brings us back onto the main straight and that is a lap around the Temple of Speed, also known as Monza. So here is qualifying and there are cars all over the track as we come around to set apparently the fastest lap uh, in qualifying a 143.06 which is quite nice so we take provisional pole hopefully we can improve on that actually we don't as I come through this left hand kink a very dangerous corner launch off into the air fly into the hables out on the uh, right there and here is a replay of the incident you see I go off into the air no no way to control the car in the air obviously I hit the bells that sends me in the other to the left, I crash into the those bales and lose my uh, left wheel, then my right wheel when I crashed into the um, uh, fence. But no matter, as we still start off from pole with Ascari second, Fangio third, I didn't catch was on fourth, Hawthorne fifth, sixth is Galvez, Gonzalez seventh, Hawthorne fifth, uh, eighth, sorry, ninth, Farina, De Graffari tenth. Harry Shell 11th, Onofre Marimon 12th, uh, Felice Bonetto 13th, 14th is Maurice saint with Sterling Moss in 15th, Prince Bira 16th, 17th is held by Herman Lang in the Maserati, Louis Rosier in the Ferrari is 18th and Roberto Mieres is down in 19th. So here we are at the Italian Grand Prix, the final round of the season, sitting on pole which is absolutely amazing. This is Andy's second pole in fact in his entire career so this is quite nice and we are off to an absolutely amazing start we get in front of everyone else however let's not forget that the uh, straight is very very long and Ascari is right in front of right beside us so he could still take the lead of the Italian Grand Prix as we slow a bit down and Ascari indeed takes the lead however he loses control immediately of his Ferrari and we get back into the lead and I said lead about a hundred thousand times I do that quite a lot don't I <laughs> as we now come into Lesmo 1 and there has have had to been a pretty big uh, mess in Curva Grande because we're seven seconds in front of everyone else already and here is a replay of the start pretty good start on on my end I re rarely get to have a clean road up in front I, I generally am in the midfield or at the very back and we see Ascari getting in front and then immediately losing the lead of the race and we saw someone crashing into the 
barriers, I think we'll find out who it was. We're now having a look at a replay of Juan Manuel Fangio who goes wide into Curva Grande and crashes into the fence and out of the race he goes. Next we have Ken Wharton in his Cooper who crashes into the Ferrari, uh, number 3 Ferrari I believe and one of the Cooper uh, Connaughts is upside down. Not sure who it is but I'm sure we'll find out. Yes indeed it was Prince Bira who lost control of the car and there we also see the two sim cars kind of uh, are kind of uh, stuck in the hay bales and this is Nino Farina crashing into the um, hay, b uh, hay bales as he comes through uh, uh, Roja. Next is Ascari who comes through uh, Via Leone, loses control of the car and gets hit collected by the Maserati of Onofre Marimon who we have a look at him right now as he comes around and crashes into Ascari so that's six retirements already and we still have one more this is Harry Shell in the num number 15 Simca so the both Simcas managed to kind of get un untangled however Shell gets himself stuck again and that is the end of his race unfortunately for him as we start lap 2 where well we're halfway through lap 2 we see a Harry Shell at the side there actually it was his teammate I think and this is uh, Herman Lang coming going wide through um, Curva Grande crashing and losing his front left and out of the race he goes next we have Louis Rosier who loses control of the Ferrari so does a Sterling Moss however uh, Rosier drives into the fence and that's where he retires as we come around to start lap 3 and we continue to build a gap on Oscar Galvez who is in second we are about eight and a half seconds ahead of him actually nine make that nine seconds later on on lap 3 we get a yellow flag and that is a Ferrari off the track so we lap whoever was in that Ferrari and we have a look at Jean Berra who loses control well goes wide in the Cooper crashes into the hay bales and loses his front wheel and all out of the Italian Grand Prix he goes and that is Sterling Moss crashing into the fence loses his wheels and is also upside down so he is out of the race as well quite a few crashes but I guess we've come to expect stuff like this as we come around to finish lap 3 and start lap 5 of 4 if I could only count nothing happened up until lap 16 uh, Galvez slowly ca caught up to us and we see one of the back markers in, is in front of us I think it's a Ferrari and here is Hawthorne coming around losing control of his Ferrari crashing into the hay bales and out of the Italian Grand Prix he goes as well so not not a very good showing by the Ferrari by the Ferraris well most of the Ferrari drivers anyway as we come around to lap whoever that was and there is a uh, Maserati at the edge of the track there he was smoking not entirely sure who it was I'm sure we'll have a replay and we'll see who it was and it's Jose Ferlan Gonzalez our rival who has who has a blown engine what a pity what a pity indeed so whatever happens from here on out Higgs will win the championship even if he retires from the Italian Grand Prix but we will not we will try to finish uh, the Grand Prix because well it will make everything so much better so a pity for Gonzalez but we are here on lap 27 nothing happened on up until this point we're coming around to take the win what a fantastic way to end the Italian Grand Prix started on pole and led the race all the way to the end we also posted the fastest lap of the race however I don't think it's a new record but anyway the Tifosi have reasons to celebrate tonight because 
that was a very very fitting end to Andy's drive for uh, Ferrari this is in fact Andy's last drive for Ferrari we'll have to see what team he will be joining in 54 it's either Mercedes or Lancia which are the most obvious choices but we'll have to see how it all ends well that is a nice end to the race as I said a nice end to the season as well and we should be happy I guess anyway let's have a quick look at the uh, career statistics and here they are this was Andy's 33rd Grand Prix his best start is from first has two pole positions has set eight fastest laps his best finish is first has completed 22 races all of them in the points has won 13 of them two of those have been at the Indianapolis 500 no wins at Monaco has three world championships under his belt now has a total of 145 points 11 retirements has experienced 697 out of 887 laps has three bronze trophies two silver trophies 13 gold trophies and as an extension 13 podiums And here we have one final look at the championship tables. Andy Higgs wins the championship by winning the Italian Grand Prix in a very amazing fashion, leading the race from the very beginning. That's what the Italian fans wanted to see and that's what they get. Gonzalez only finishes the season in second, unfortunately for him. He was very close to winning the uh, season, but... It didn't come to fruition. Fangio finishes the season in third, Rosier fourth, and Mieres is in fifth, with points scorers all the way down to 16th, which is Maurice Trintignant. So that is the end of the race. That is the end of this video. I hope you, I hope you enjoyed. I, 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 it was a pretty good race. Unfortunately, I can't be completely happy for the third title because, well. It was kind of given to us, com considering that the uh, Indianapolis 500 and the Dutch Grand Prix were, well, kind of there, j only there. So, yeah. Anyway, that is it from me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you all so much for watching. And as always, stay sharp. Oh, before I forget, you can still vote for next season's team. I will give you a few more hours after this video goes live. So, you can still do that if you haven't done so already. So, uh, make sure to check the link in the description. Anyway, bye for now.